Tri-County's bank shut down some of its systems after detecting suspicious activity. Action News Now reporter Lauren Cooper spoke with bank officials and customers about what happened. Maybe because you couldn't get through to anyone on the phone, and maybe you couldn't make any transactions through an ATM, you would go to headquarters, but you can't because the doors are locked. But you can still get in the door at other branches. However, there are still some restrictions. They told me that I can't get my, my um, balance um, and that um, they don't know when the problem is going to be fixed. Beatrice Meehan has been a Tri-County's customer for three months. They can't access their computers, so they can't type in your information and look stuff up for you. I want to know um, if I can pay my bills, buy food. So I'm on a fixed income, so I, I need to know what I have going on in my account. It's her third day trying to find out her balance and failing. Well, I use a cane and try not to walk um, very far, and so I keep having to come back. Um, every day to see what, you know, if I can check my balance. Mm -hmm. What have been your emotions these past three days? Hopeful that, you know, they're up again, but inconvenienced, kind of annoyed. Do you think you'll come back tomorrow? <laughs> no, because it's the weekend and I doubt they'll have, you know, the um, machines up yet. Others have had better luck. I was able to get all the cash I needed today. I was able to go in and talk with my banker and the tellers and find out what was going on. But it wasn't as easy as usual. It's uh, hectic only because they have to write everything down and they have to, you know, take a log manually and analog data and everything. And right now it's long lines, but other than that, it's still very friendly and everybody's being very courteous inside the bank. I would have taken my money out if I didn't feel safe. I did speak with another customer off camera who told me when they asked the bank teller what was going on, they told them that a hacker tried to steal money, but we haven't confirmed that with the bank. They did, however, tell us that there is no evidence to support that information was compromised. However, they are still investigating what happened and how this happened. Reporting in Chico, Lauren Cooper, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Customers can still access accounts through mobile and online banking systems.